行こうよ一人でも明日を捕まえる駆け出そう傍らに誰もいないでも逆にむしろその方がいい頭が悪くても覚悟はなしでも出かけてみせるさ日常水素2日常シーズン2So I'm gonna really miss the town of Anthem. It's a nice little town. The people are really nice, and uh, especially this park. I probably could have stayed for another day, but like, I don't know. I kind of feel like if I stayed any longer, I'd get caught in the vortex again. And I don't even have a job this time, so it's like, I don't even have an excuse. <laughs> anyway. But when I grow old and bitter and weary of travel, will, will I eventually, <laughs> come back here and uh, consider Anthem to be my home. I don't know, I don't think so. Cause uh, like there's a there's a lot of a, uh, you know, rich person vibes here and it just makes me feel like I don't belong. And then uh, also it's really hot. Speaking of hot, I uh, lost my cooling towel somewhere. I'm really good at losing things on the road, but <laughs> it really, it really helped me. And now she's gone. So uh, rest in peace cooling towel. As you can see, it's been uh, pretty hard getting up this here canyon, this big old all uphill thing. I knew it was gonna be like this. I went anyway, so yeah, I, that's on me. Uh, it's not as bad though as that time in California because I get to drink all the water I want. I know there's a, a rest stop coming up, so at least I got that going for me. It's just pain, just a little bit pain, it's fine. To the town of our free rode a stranger one fine day Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip The stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip Big iron on his hip It was early in the morning when he rode into the town He came riding from the south side Slowly looking all around He's an outlaw loose and running Came the whisper from each lip And he's here to do some business With a big iron on his hip Big iron on his hip In this town there lived an outlaw By the name of Texas Red Many men had tried to take him, and that many men were dead. 
He was vicious and a killer though. Yeah, I went to the Agua Fria thing because I thought it was gonna be a, a cool town because of the, the funny thing, the funny song. But uh nah. Uh it's just like a it's wildland. Camelpoly, but it's just a uh, nature preserve. It looks pretty cool, but I don't know. I'm gonna go. Back alive or maybe dead, and he said it didn't matter. He was after Texas Red, after Texas Red. Wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Red. But the outlaw didn't worry, men that tried before were dead. Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty men had made a slip. Twenty-one would be the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. The morning passed so quickly it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from the windows, everybody held their breath. They knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death. About to meet his death. So it appears as if we have uh, we finally left there the desert and gone into the high plains of Arizona. Or uh, high desert plain, whatever it is. There's, there's pink sand, there's trees, there's cactuses, and there's, a, there's little flowers sprinkled about. I think that's cool. Anyway. Uh, so I've been moving really slow, uh, and I think that's because this has all been downhill. But uh, it turns out, uh, I saw a sign back there that said elevation 4,000 feet. So apparently I've only gone all up 2,000, and I have 2,000 more. But I don't know. I don't know how accurate that sign is. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his head. Big iron, big iron. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his head. All right, food big review. We have the uh, the freaking uh, barbecue flavored Vienna sausages. Let's see how they taste. That's all right. So yeah, I just got really hungry, and uh, I love the. I love these trees right here. They smell really cool. So, yeah, this area is really cool. I don't know what it's called, obviously, but th there's like all these desert plants, like that that spiky thing you can see over there. And then, then you got these trees. Then you got the cactus. Then you got, then you got the fact that it's really cool as well. <laughs> it's not hot anymore, which means it's probably gonna get really cold at night. That's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my break. Mm. God, <laughs> uh, yeah, I could again. I could smell my brakes, uh, the freaking distinct smell of. Uh, I don't even know what material goes against the wheels, but that <laughs> it's a. Uh, it was kind of gross, but all right. Anyway, uh, I don't know what elevation I'm at now, but I do know that it's a lot lower than where I was. So I'm gonna have to go a lot more uh, up tomorrow than I thought I would. I got these ants, but yeah, oh, I'm really tired. I want to. I kind of want to find somewhere to camp soon.